Yeah, I don't know if you guys have been keeping up with this, but uh, Dan Aarons and I are actually in the midst of a well-publicized feud in the post. Uh, okay, no? Okay. <laughs> I didn't actually have anything for that at all. I was hoping that you'd laugh earlier. You didn't? That's fine. Okay, let's move on. Uh, so, I was at the bank the other day, and uh, there was, I go up to the teller, and uh, I'm, I'm depositing a check, and it's, it's pretty awesome. It's, you know, first paycheck. I'm like, I'm a man. And uh, so I go up, and uh, it's definitely a maturity thing, and I, I give her the check, and we get the transaction done, you know, perfectly. And uh, she goes, do you want a lollipop? And I'm like, fuck, you know, I'm really caught in the middle of this, like, adolescent thing with like this mature thing and I had like this big decision to make uh, so I chose strawberry <laughs> um, let's try out some new jokes uh, I have uh, I've been I've been thinking recently I'm not very socially you know able to function and uh, I feel like I need more of a code that's going to help me through these situations and I think, uh, I think political correctness helps, and that's something that, uh, that is good, you know, basic social things that, you know, we don't say, uh, say terrible things to people, make people feel bad, and that's great, but uh, it's a little too vague, you know, it's sort of like, uh, hey, can I say the N-word? Nope. But what if, no. No, you can't. <laughs> Under any circumstances, you cannot. Okay, okay. But I need help with other situations. Uh, for example, in terms of sensitivity, how often am I supposed to feel bad about Africa? Uh, is it like every time there's like one of those commercials with the kids staring at me with the sad eyes? Because I do. That I do. Um, but like, am I supposed to be like eating dinner at one point and just be like, okay, let's just take five minutes and think about Africa. <laughs> Things are rough there. Uh, okay, back to whatever you're telling me. So uh, that's a tough one. Uh, another one is uh, I am pro-gay marriage, I am pro-homosexual rights completely uh, in everything, uh, but I don't know how to say that a gay couple is not cute at times, because there are couples that are cute and there are couples that are not cute, and that works for gay people too. I shouldn't have to say that all gay couples are cute, but apparently they are. <laughs> and I'm not sure if anybody else has found that, but there are gay couples that just don't work. There is, and I have no way to say it, because I'll tell you, any time a girl sees a gay couple, it's like, so cute. And I have no way to refute that. I can't say he's got an eyebrow piercing, he's wearing Abercrombie. It doesn't work. <laughs> How do you hug a midget? <laughs> Does anybody have the answer to how you hug a midget? <laughs> Nobody has the answer to how you hug a midget. And I know you think oh, this is never going to happen to me. Next thing you know, there's going to be a midget walking up with his arms out, and he's coming for you. <laughs> but don't worry, all right? I'm, I'm, going to, I'm going to help with this, okay? Uh, don't bend at the back. He ends up wrapping around your leg. It's wrong. It's not the way to do it. Uh, and then, but I mean, besides don't bend at the back, I have no idea. You know, I mean, maybe the, the knee bend, like that, like, but that's more like a dog's running towards you. The one thing I've decided, like, you, the only thing that I've decided that you can't do, and I won't do, and I won't be caught doing this, is picking them up and spinning them around. <laughs> I will not do that, but other than that, I don't know what to do. Simba. <laughs> I won't do that either. <laughs> that was horrible. I'm sorry I did that now. Uh... I'll leave you guys with, uh, with a story. Um, the other day, I was, uh, I was with like six or seven guys, and everybody's like, let's order two extra large pizzas. I got a coupon. I'm like, that sounds awesome. And so the scheme of the conversation keeps going, and, uh, and I say at one point, yeah, man, I mean, extra large pizza, I could eat five slices. And uh, my friend goes, no, you can't eat five slices. And I heard it like as a challenge, like, bro, you can't eat five slices. But what he was saying was, there are eight of us. You can't eat five slices. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I'm not going to let you eat five slices of pizza. And uh, I went with the challenge thing. And let me tell you, I could have had sex with that guy's girlfriend with him watching. And he wouldn't have been as angry 
with me as after I ate five slices of pizza and everybody else got like one. Because I finished before everybody else realized I'm like, five pieces, boom. And everyone else is eating the pizza. None of my jokes were funny. Rest of the night. It was I was treat I was shunned like I was winning at Monopoly. <laughs> it was that bad. Like they were occupying boardwalk against me. <laughs> All right, I'm Taylor Reinhardt. Thanks, guys. <laughs>